Hi, the Thai from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another record to play for you. Today record, Gemini Man Story 1 for 1976. So let's get started. We are at the headquarters of Intersect, where Leonard Driscoll, director of the agency, and Dr. Abigail Lawrence are waiting for special agent Sam Casey. Well, it's about time you showed up. Welcome back to Intersect, Sam. I thought I was on vacation. Sure, Sam. But now that you've recovered from the accident, some accident, sabotage, atomic laser exploding on the underwater and making me invisible, well, you are fully recovered now, thanks to Abigail. And I thought you might like to take a trip to Europe. Europe? Great. To the tiny nation of Panovia. Oh, I get the feeling it's going to be a working holiday. I'll be going with you. Thank you. Let's go. Just a minute, hot shot. I'd like you to take care of something while you're there. I knew there was a catch. We've received word through our intelligence channel that a certain Dr. Anton Foley wants to defect to the United States. Who is he? He's a specialist in infiltration detection systems. Intersect could use an answer, I'll go out to We've been given clearance from Washington to send you in together. Oh, no. Espionage isn't my law. I know it's not. But your new and unique ability to become invisible makes you the perfect man. Perfect man. If I stay invisible over 15 minutes a day, I'm gone. Finished. With my stabilizer watch synchronized with yours, we'll be in constant radio contact. Wherever you are, I'll be in touch to make sure everything's okay. Nothing like a little togetherness to take care of this scrambled shell structure of mine. Okay, what's the plan? Rome was being held in a maximum security section of a ranked up prison. A prison? Yes, they fear he may try to defect. So, they suspect someone is coming for him, which is why we wanted you for this job. We won't be seen. How do I get him out of jail? We both walk out. Simple as that. Sam, you find Flone's cell. Cause a disturbance to draw the guard. Then you take care of the guard. Dr. Flone puts on his uniform and walks out the front gate with you invisible by the time. There'll be a car waiting for you. Abby and I will be waiting too, just across the board. Sounds good. Only, how do I get into the prison? <laughs> That's easy. Get arrested. <laughs> Next, move on. You direct drive forward. Your papers? Here you go. Passport, visa, entry card, driver's license. It says you are Sam Casey, a reporter for the World Press Association. At your service. Maybe you've read my famous story on border guard. How long do you plan to visit our country? Well, I bet I can find something interesting to write about in a good scandals lately. You must show respect to your host. It is illegal to say anything against the government. And put that camera away. Smile. I want this shot to be on the cover, sir. No pictures. You cannot take photographs without authorization from the Ministry of Propaganda. All right, come on. Smile. If you persist, I will have to arrest you. That makes four shots of you alone. Say, where are your buddies? I'd like to get some pictures of them. Give me the camera. You'll have to catch me first. <laughs> Stop him! The fool! After him! He asked for it! Open fire! You are under arrest! Look at this car, it's a wreck! What am I going to tell the rental agency? You will have plenty of time to think of that in a rank of prison! Meanwhile, in a small house across the border from Cronovia, Driscoll and Abby follow Sam's progress by means of Abby's synchronized watch mechanism. He's invisible. Ten seconds. This diagram of the prison will help us trace his movements. We should be at Flone's cell in 20 seconds. Ten. 
one. Five, four, two, one. He's visible again. Who are you? What do you want? I'm Sam Casey. An American agent. An American agent? Yeah. Your message got through to Washington. I'm here to get you out. But how? Don't worry. It's all quiet. Quiet. Here comes the guard. set up my laboratory in this cell and forced to work in this cold, damp prison. At Intersect, we will get a clean new laboratory. Intersect? Yes. I worked with them as a security agent. And they sent me in here to get you at the request of Washington. Shh. The guard is returning. When he comes in, stay calm. Yes, of course. Come. There are reinforcements outside. All right, Mr. Invisible Man, you are my prisoner. <laughs> you may think we cannot see you, but I know exactly where you are. I will put a bullet past your right ear. Now I will put a bullet past your left ear. And the next bullet, Mr. Casey, you may just as well make yourself visible. Who are you? Colonel Anton Flom of the Cronovia Secret Police. And I was sent here to get you out? Thank you, but as you see, I may come and go as I please. This was a setup. The whole thing? From the very beginning. And this equipment? The Flom Factor, Mr. Casey. A heat sensor system. Heat sensor? Everything, including an invisible body, radiates heat. This unit is sensitive to your body heat. You knew about it? I suspected. Our agents reported strange activity at the intersect complex. Things were occurring that we could not explain. Unless, of course, an invisible agent had penetrated our operations. How does the unit work? That is classified information. But since you will be spending the rest of your life with us, <laughs> I can see no harm in telling you. It is an infrared sensor. Infrared. I should have thought of it. Is this the only one? I have told you enough. I'll have to remember that the next time. There won't be a next time, Mr. Casey. I said you would be spending the rest of your life here. Enjoy what is left. <laughs> You will be executed tomorrow morning. Yes? Right. Hmm. Okay. Thank you. Let me know if you hear anything new. Who was that? The underground. Sam hasn't shown up at the car yet. Something is wrong. I know it. Yes, there is. Dr. Flom is really Colonel Flom of the secret police. They knew about Sam. You mean it was a trap to get Sam? Yes. We have to get them out of there. I'll put a call to Washington. They can do nothing. Maybe I can. What? I don't know, but I'm going to that prison. Get out. They were looking for an invisible man. I disguised myself. 
So that was Gemini Man Story 1 for 1976. So if you like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a great day. We have another video coming out real soon.